gonna do the like the OG 2000s one from the PSU. This one, S tier. You cannot go wrong with this game. It's just an instant classic. It's the perfect game, perfect uh, trilogy. Uh, it's funny. It's a great game. The reason why this is S tier is so much nostalgia. I think, for me at least. Okay. I I'm inclined to be boring here and agree. Um, I just I, I can vividly remember moments of playing either with my sister, my dad, or my mom and deliberately killing them for my own amusement. And while that may sound uh, masochistic and slightly sadistic, it, it it was a lot of fun and they didn't care. They were just having fun and just the. The um, experiencing Star Wars in a Lego format, it was done perfectly, I think, in this game. Yeah. This is instant classic. Anyone who disagrees, just I will drop leave the video, them. leave leave the chat. You can just just block me. Just uninstall YouTube. Find it. You'll find a way. Oh, ugh, I forgot about the character creation. You shouldn't have said that because you could just make anybody have Darth Maul's lightsaber, and that was my favorite thing to do. It's just awesome. Let's just make a better Darth Maul. Insane. Wait, what? I didn't say that. Shush, 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 shush. <laughs> cut the blood, cut the blood. <laughs> cut, cut, cut the fit. <clears throat> it is an S tier game to you. Okay, so this is interesting because there's an era of Lego games where they, at, there was at some point where it was just grunts and very, like they had to do comedy in a way where it was just practical, like physical comedy. And there's a game that does it really well, and it's this Indiana Jones game. I think this one and the there's a Star Wars game in here that we'll talk about that I think does it like arguably just as well in my opinion. And oh, this is tough. See, I I'm in the same boat of like I'm I'm leaning more towards A, but oh man, I'm trying to bring myself to the time of because I'm thinking of like Indiana Jones. And him specifically, you could yoink people's guns. You just be like, "What's mine now?" And I, I can just think of like boss fights with um the dude that sticks the sticks his hand in somebody's chest and pulls the heart out on the bridge. And then he yep. falls in the alligators. I remember there's like a funny thing there. Yeah, yeah I think it's S tier. Ah, I'm being boring, but I just think it's so. I ah, it's so good. I think it's perfect. Is it? Mm, I, I I do think it's below the Star Wars one though. You do, you do think so though? Yeah, I think I think it's still it's good, but it's not it's not the OG Star Wars. Okay, well this That's is what I gotta say. It, it, I gotta put it. It's okay. It's okay category. So this uh, I was like I don't know where he's going with this. I I'm I have vivid. Oh man, I have a vivid. Okay, so I have an interesting perspective on this because I've never seen Harry Potter. <laughs> And I played this game. <laughs> so I distinctly remembered the confusion of not knowing what's going on. Hating, because I think this was still mumble territory, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I just remember the puzzles. I was, uh, my childlike brain was like, I, what, how do? And I, I remember just did, like playing one level and being like, this is the worst piece of garbage ever. And I took this to my mom and was like, hey. Can we get this traded for anything else? <laughs> so, if I'm a child, I'm putting this in the bottom tier. Uh, I wish- hold on, I have to do something really quick. And okay, okay. So, top one is going to be True Jedi. <laughs> um, next one will be True Adventurer. Um, um, true wizard, <laughs> um, what's a good one? <laughs> the, whoa, I forgot about Lego. So Lego Hobbit one was called Master Burglar. Which is hilarious, and I don't remember that. And, um, I think, uh... Where's Force Awakens? 
Oh, The Force Awakens was also True Jedi. Gosh dang it. I guess everybody knows where I'm gonna put that one. <laughs> True villain is the bottom tier. And I believe that Harry Potter is a tr indeed a true villain. For that sole purpose. Just because I have no recollection of it. And I just remember being so mad at that first level. I don't even- yeah. My, my hatred reigns supreme. So I, I think this leads to an interesting conversation in terms of LEGO games and the story, the stories they come from. Because there's games like the, the, um, the Batman games, the Dimensions, some of these like LEGO movie worlds, stuff like that, where they're, I don't think they're based on a movie. Some of them. But with, with The Incredibles, they, they really are hand, kind of like, hand holding you story wise, right? It's a familiar story and if there's anything you should like, it's the story. So you shouldn't have to worry about that with The Incredibles, which I th still think is true. It's pretty much, it's the storyline, but like condensed. But I didn't know how buggy it was. So I played this um, semi recently. I want to say like a year and a half ago. I was very late to the party because I was like, I don't care. Um, but I just remember looking at like, um, trying to think what, what's the dad's name? Not Par. Oh, uh, I can't even think of his name. I can't but name. but Mr. Incredible, homie just looks weird to me. And I just remember visually, like, I know it's a Lego game and you have to like respect the style, I guess. But this game just looks weird to me. I don't have a reason. Syndrome looked weird. I, to me, it's just kind of like, eh? Like, it, it's a whatever game. And I think it, it, I don't, I don't remember. So I feel a little harsh on Harry Potter, but I do would also agree that this is a true villain of Lego games. I'm going to put it above Harry Potter just to spite Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Okay. So I have a sister and she had this game, right? And we we um, we were at a point in our in, in this time frame, I forget when it came out, we shared a DS. So I, I would have games like Trying to see some like there was a Lego Ninjago game. I had that. I had. I don't remember if I played the Harry Potter, the other Harry Potter game on there. But the, I remember distinctly like having a bunch of games that we swapped, and like I would play stuff that she played and vice versa, just to like try stuff out because we were just the majority of the time hanging out after after school and stuff like that. And I remember playing this game and just being like, what's the point? <laughs> like I was, I remember child me being confused. Like I, I could hear my brain being like, you're not the audience for this, but I played it anyways. Very similar to you actually. So I, I think it just belongs in where I accidentally slapped it in. It's, it, I think it's a master burglar. I, I didn't distinctly hate it like Harry Potter and the Incredibles, but I was also like, it's not my cup of tea. So I, I, I think it belongs as a master burglar. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's just, uh, yep. Next one. Yep. Okay. Uh, um, um, you got one or, uh, uh you pick next one. You've been, I've been picking. Okay. Let's look. Okay. Let's go to a game that we all want to talk about, right? Let's look at the force awakens. Force Awakens. All right. Okay. So, if you don't if you haven't played this one, I don't blame you. Um I think so comments hear me out. Hear me out. I I know I know what you're thinking. But but then it's it's, it's visually so good. It, I know it carries the plot line of just of just The Force Awakens. It it it, it barely does that well. But hear me out. I, I just think that the... Obviously, if you don't like the storyline of those three, which I don't, then you're just going to hate the story. So storyline is already Garbo. Um, it falls in the era post, post mumbles, which I think it like... Com comedically, now you're relying on two separate things. And when, when comedically, this game isn't... It, it's not as funny as the others. 
like something like the Lego Hobbit was actually like funny to me. I don't know, maybe it's just how I think or whatever. But it just brings up all the memories of watching those films and just being like, this is ass. <laughs> this is ass and there's no way around it. It is a true villain and it belongs comfortably beside Harry Potter. Which one? Like, yeah. Yeah, so Essentially, yeah. this would be the first one. Yeah. And I remember, obviously, it's kind of made around the theme of building, which is like a Lego thing. But I remember, I remember liking the building more in this game than other games. I don't remember, I don't have a reason why. I remember that you could, I remember the things that I liked about the game was that these other, like Superman, Wonder Woman, all these other characters, like they still had their own, like they could fly. And I thought in retrospect, I liked it. But now thinking back, I'm like, it's kind of weird that they just like didn't, they just kind of made Superman and were like, yeah, you can have him. But I, it's, I don't know. It's kind of in a weird mix of like, you know how the Avengers have so many iconic characters? It's, it's kind of like that with the Lego movie, but it's like DC it has like wizards and it's just an amalgamation of so many cool things that I think it lands somewhere in the middle for me because it, it's still like, it almost gives me claustrophobia in a weird, not claustrophobia, what's the word? It just, it hurts my brain. Anxiety? Kind of anxiety. It's just too much. Like, in a, in a, eh, way. So, I, I think it's like True Wizard. It's like, right straight down the middle for me. Um, uh, we're gonna call it Force Awakens. Force of Sleep. Force Asleep. I like that better. Where you fight like crocodile and all that oh is this the okay i'm i'm seeing what you're talking about yeah this one didn't play it <laughs> so yeah that batman game uh, the which i think is the first one in that little cluster of batman games because that that's the one i, I distinctly remember the suit the suit versatility was really cool in that because it 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 was double whammy because you you could do that with Batman and Robin, and then it made you play the two. It's just smart marketing wise, in a weird way because it makes you play the two characters that are so iconic. Because you need them in every mission, even when you go back and replay them, because you'll still need them to like use the suits and all that. And I just think it's really interesting how they they did that in a way that wasn't like oppressive. It was just like, oh, okay, I need Batman and Robin. But it wasn't, like, aggravating. And I think it's just, I just remember really... And this is, like, earlier in the... In the era of Mumbles. Because so I'm trying... I think the first... I don't even remember what the first... I want to say the first game that did that was Lord of the Rings. Where they... Uh, started mumbling? Where they stopped, stopped mumbling. Because they were like, okay, we're just going to copy... I think it's the Hobbit games. Was it the Hobbit? Because... I Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but I remember it's one of those series because they just like were like, you know what? We're just gonna buy the license to just throw the the scenes in there Like just put the audio of the scenes in here and we'll be fine. And then it's just like, okay, you can do that I don't know felt lazy. Okay, so I, I this is kind of an interesting Thing that you bring up because I I would agree I would agree with the um, Pirates of the Caribbean take separate from the Lego game because I just the thing that made the that first movie really good wasn't the whole like um what's the word like the plot of they're all undead like it's a big like it's a tier above just piracy into like supernatural stuff where it's like there's the undead there's Davy Jones who's like basically a sea god <laughs> a kraken which is like, I guess, cool in concept, but I, when you think of Pirates of the Caribbean, you think of Jack Sparrow. And for me, I think of Barbosa because the the fight that those two have is just like amazing. And you think of swords clashing, at least I do. I just think of the fight scenes, to be honest. And Jack talking, because Jack. Yeah. What I think this game lacks 
interesting and interestingly enough this is one of the few games that i think is hurt by the mumbles just because you you don't get to see like the full depth of jack sparrow i don't think it like ruins the game but i i just think um because i remember that this also dives deep into the um because i remember you could play like all four movies at this point if i'm not mistaken i I'm trying to think. I didn't complete, I didn't complete the game. So I'm distinctly remembering a fight with Blackbeard. Because um with the fourth movie. Uh, um I, I can't remember if that's like its own separate It might have been like its own separate like final mission when you 100 percent the game, get all the treasure and all that. I might be mistaken. Editor Editor Dan will put something up there. But yeah. I I think that it belongs in True Wizard, because it, it, it doesn't, it's not like Master Burglar where I was confused and like kind of just med with the game. But I did like it, but it wasn't, it didn't wow me as much as like the Batman game or Star Wars and all that. Right. Okay, well, I, due to that comparison, I have to make a new, a new, uh, column. A new row, I mean. I'll be right back. I'll wait for food. No, you, you, you good. I'll, I'll actually wait for you because you need to hear this. <laughs> back. Yo. All right. What is your opinion? <laughs> oh, boy. So um, I, I made a new a new row, and uh, it, it's called Minecraft, <laughs> and um, Lego World is in it. I've never played this game, but if it's anything even remotely close to Minecraft, I, I mean, if it's a bad knockoff of it, this might be the worst game I've ever played. If I ever play it, because if you all know Rojo Ray lore, I hate Minecraft with burning passion. So there's that. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty simple on my end. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all you gotta say. Really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People will love that, I'm sure. What's the next one? Um, I really want to hear your take on a particular Jurassic World game. So. Isn't there a new one? There might have been. I actually don't know. I have not been in the Lego sphere recently. However, um, this game. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember the frame of mind because I, at this point, I didn't. I haven't seen any of the Jurassic World movies. So, or Jurassic, or even Jurassic Park movies. I haven't seen any of these, so I didn't know what was going on. All I know is that there's a dinosaur and a dude on a bike driving away. I'm like, you know, what? that's kind of cool. I remember playing this game and being like, I don't know what's going on story wise, because I, I believe that this is post mumble. So people spoke. I, I don't know if that's correct. I feel like that's right, though. I should probably. Look. Yeah, let me let me actually. Google I'm that. looking it up right now to be right. I won't. I remember there. Oh uh, no! This is yeah. This is this is this is right when I started like adding stuff to it. Okay. So post mumble, and which which actually helped me like this game because I was like, oh, I understand the story. It's not just like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. and I just remember enjoying the concept of a Lego dinosaur because I was just like, well, how do you? And, and this is like kind of where the fascination of animation really came into my mind. Because I played this as like a teenager. And I was like, oh, how'd they do blah, blah, blah. Man, that's interesting. I don't get it. And I just was enthralled. So I, I think it's like True Adventure for me. It's not, it's below Batman because it's probably going to be the bottom of True Adventure. Because it's not like, whoa. But I do remember enjoying it thoroughly. So I just. first one in it. It's good. I just realized I made um the the ones that I I I put into the I don't know category I accidentally put into the Minecraft category 
and I needed to treat them the, with the respect that they deserve. They, they are they are just unknown games. I don't know if they're that bad. Um, but I know what is that bad, and that's this game. Uh, this is a true villain, irrefutably for me. Um, I distinctly remember the only gratifying quality of this was the last level, and it's I I think the only well it's not the only game. We'll get into other games. But it's one of the few games that encourages PvP in in like a specific level in that last level because you fight you just fight each other if, if you have a two two player thing going on. Yep. And it's it's one of the funniest things ever. And I editor Dan will correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that there's he, he, Anakin still gets Darth Vader. But I believe that there's like a slightly different thing that happens cinematically if you win as Anakin, which I thought was really funny. But that's the only gratifying quality of this game is that that happened. Everything else is just kind of a worst and reduced version of any other Star Wars game, in my opinion. I just think it's worse. And I, I, it's not worse than Harry Potter. I will give it slightly. I, cause I actually played this game to the end. Harry Potter, I didn't, and <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, because I distinctly remember Aragorn being, I remember being like that one kid that's like, no, like, you know, that person in the horror movie that's like, no, don't do it. It's like that with me and Aragorn. Um, so I have a slightly different opinion. I really liked this game, at least from my memory. I haven't played it in years, but <clears throat> Granted, I believe this This is the, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, I think this is taking off all of consoles and it's only on PC now. Due to, like, licensing stuff that I, it's beyond my head, to be honest. But I remember really enjoying this game, even though it was post-Mumble era, just because of, of combat and the, um, this, I, I remember this being the first game I played where... I don't think it's the first game that's done this, but it's the first game I played where the size of the parties in the story missions were large. So I'm, I remember that when you were in the Fellowship of the Nine in those first few missions, or um, even when you just had the three, like Mary, Pippin, Frodo, and Sam, you would have all four of them. You wouldn't yeah. have to have like the character wheel, and I remember really liking that. And um, I think that the culmination of that, I do agree that it has the same issues as like some of these other games where the ending was like whatever and some of the um, comedy is stripped of it. But I'm such a Lord of the Rings fan, that's probably why I'm putting this in True Jedi. It's below, irrefutably, I, it's below Indiana Jones and Star Wars just as a preconceived notion. So there's that. That is my opinion. So uh, I think this is another master burglar category right down the middle because it this is like the like if you have a hit or miss buffet, you know, because you, you'll have moments where you're like, this is the worst shit I've ever eaten. But then you'll have moments where you're like, damn, we got to come back here and then you come back here and then it's bad again. So what I, <laughs> weird comparison, but I think it makes sense The the um this is the other game I was talking about where it has PVP in a weird way. I remember distinctly, um, I was such a bully to my sister. I would be like, okay, I you pick a character and I'm gonna pick a character and we're gonna fight each other. And she was like, okay, but this would be in the open world area, right? So, and my sister is significantly, is and was significantly smarter than me. So I picked the Hulk, obviously, because armor and you just like are, you just don't care about health in general. But then, uh, my, my sister, God bless her soul, would pick Iron Man and would just fly away. So we would get into fights because I would just be like, no, you got to fight. Don't be a coward. And she'd be like, no, I'm running away. <laughs> and I would just be like, you're such a such a jerk. And then I remembered, oh, this is so such a sibling moment where we, we were like, to the, to the point of yelling, my mom was like, okay, we gotta take this game away. And I'm like, we both simultaneously were like, no! <laughs> no! I don't know. Yeah. Not do it. I just think it's like the pinnacle of, of of weirdly bullying. 
but also it's just like, I don't know. It was all in good fun in retrospect, but it, it does still have the same problem of um, kind of generic. I, I don't remember the plot line much of this, so I don't remember the story being like great. I don't remember if this just I don't think it followed the Avengers plotline. Maybe it did. I don't remember, to be honest. I really don't. Couldn't tell you. And I think that if the story's not memorable, it, it it's just, eh, it's whatever. So, uh, kind of boring here. I'm going to echo a lot of that. It's just, eh, I, I don't like games that don't, like sequels specifically. I think sequels are really challenging in games and in, like, sh movies, shows, stuff like that. <clears throat> sequels are really tough because you have to, you have to like do something new, right? But like keep it similar to the like capture the same thing for the audience in the previous movie or video game, and that's really hard to do. And I just think it was missed. It was missed on this one. Um, it's still good. Like it's cool, you know. I think it's a true wizard. I love Pirates of the Caribbean, and but it it's just like. It's 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 the same thing with another with with the crystal skull. That's pretty much it's pretty much the only thing that changed really. And that that's kind of why it falls middle of the pack because it, it's not different. So it it it's not an improvement in any way really. So that's my opinion. Did I not place the star? Oh, no. This is right there. What's this one? Then? Is this like a remaster? Hold on, hold on a second. So, I was gonna say, the complete, I think the complete saga in this top one, so I think this one is the original trilogy. The Clone Wars. This is oh, you're looking at the Clone Wars? Okay, that one's kind of bussin', if you haven't. Uh, I'll do Clone Wars. I gotta, like, see the gameplay, maybe. Maybe it is. It's interesting, that's for Dang. sure. While while you look after that one, I'm gonna put it somewhere. Um, I don't think I played this one. So I ain't gonna lie, I might be. I, might I have played this one. You have played it. Yeah, I remember playing it. Yep. So I, I'm slapping this that that Star Wars game. Uh, I'm definitely biased because one, I'm a Star Wars fan. Two, this is my first Lego game ever, and I remember distinctly loving this game. <clears throat> and um, I'm trying to think what I played it on and I don't know uh, it goes in it's not above all these other games but it's a true Jedi for me just because of nostalgia um, it's it has like a weird tower defense thing going on kind of a little bit I don't know how to describe it but like it it made you feel like you were controlling an army in some of the missions um flying was interesting it wasn't like amazing but it was like oh it's cool that you can do that but i i really liked the exploration of finding of finding heroes at like in your like back at the hub at the base at the the republic ship and then going to the separatist ship and then killing those guys and then getting them as characters and then exploring the bounty hunting missions and oh my goodness so much content and secret stuff that you can't find unless you go and explore it, and that's why i love that game but i am spoiled and biased so <clears throat> last ones we got here we have the hobbit um which i think is gonna it's not uh, to me, it's not as good as a Lego as um, the Lord of the Rings, so it goes somewhere here. It does one of those things where it doesn't. It's kind of the same thing with Lego Indiana Jones too. It just doesn't build off the the first one, so it's just kind of like oh, whatever. Throw F Frodo and Bilbo at it. They're, they're iconic, and it's like okay, well that wasn't done well. Um, Ninjago. I believe that this is the one I've played, and I remember really liking this one. I don't... I'm trying to read... I, I hope that's the one I'm thinking about. I just remember really liking um, Kane. 
uh, which I think is the, the robotic ninja. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. It's been so long. Okay. I really like Kane as a character. And then I don't think Lloyd is Lloyd in that one. I don't know. There's, uh, I kind of, the, there's like a big mish, like a mix of Ninjago games that I'm like, I don't remember if I played some of these or not. So I actually don't think I played that one. Harry Potter. Okay. Another Harry Potter story that is eerily similar to the other one. Um, played this. The, the only difference is, is that when I played this, I had a, a, a part, a, a friend play it with me and we both had similar reactions because we've never seen it. Um, so we were like, what's going on? I hate this. And we played the first two levels this time and we were both like, can we play something else? And then we played the Lego, uh, the Clone Wars like instead of that game. Um, so there's that. Um, superhero. Okay. Marvel superheroes Two. This is a recent one I I've played and I was like, but I had, I played the first mission and then I started running around and I'm like, I don't, the story didn't hook me right away. And I was like, I don't have time to play this. So I had a very Harry Potter experience with that, but in my adulthood, which was kind of a weird experience. And now I think that, um, I might rock the boat a little bit here. The Skywalker saga. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not put it there. Um, <clears throat> I think that that's my personal number one. It's just, it, it's so, it's like, a, it's, I've never, like, it does something so different, but it's still Lego to me. It gives you the option to make it, um, you can go to classic mumbles or you can change it to have like the, the voiceovers which is something unheard of until that game. Um, it's just such a versatile game to play. There's a skill tree, which is kind of bananas. It's like it it it, I, it marks like an, a, a shift in the era of Legos, I think, where it's going to be like, OK, can Legos do more than just what they've always done in a way? And was it done well? Uh, some of it was done extremely well some not so much but i i think that alone is like the pinnacle of legos and just going into a, a different era of lego gaming fair enough to be honest this is the this is the tier list and um let's not ever talk about lego worlds in comments if you say anything i will drop kick you verbally <laughs> okay all right i won't do that <sighs> Get banned. It's the band. It's a band. Cry about it. Cry about it. Cry. All right. I think I can finally wrap it up. Stop. All right. Mm -hmm.